how to automatically create multiple folders and add subfolders into each one of those main folders. So as you can see, I have many business branches that I need to create a folder for. So using this list in Excel, I create a executable file using the notepad to create all those main folders, as we can see. So let me do it again. One, two. Okay, so here we have all the main folders. And for each one of the main folders, now we can see that if I click in any folder here, the folder is empty. However, I also create here a executable file called subfolders. So let me one, two, and now let's go again to any folder. As we can see, now the folder is not empty anymore. However, it has the three different subfolders like I have here in Excel. Doesn't matter if you want to create a thousand of different main folders with a thousand of different subfolders because this method is going to work. So let's find out step by step how can we do it. Let's go. To automatically create new folders, we can easily start with a simple list with the names that we need to create a folder for. Let's say I want to add a new name. I can go to the last row and then here I can input the new name. However, it's very important and something that we need to be mindful. I cannot use a space in the name of this folder because what's going to happen is if I use a space, I'm going to have different folders, one for the first part, the second one for the second part, and on and on. So this is why I cannot use a space. So it's very important to substitute the space for maybe a underscore. So let me select everything within the column B instead of manually do this task. I can go to the home tab and use the find and select tool. Let me click here and then replace with this new pop up that's going to appear. Find what? I want to find a space and I want to replace with a underscore. Simple with that. Replace all. OK. Close this new window and I'm done. Now let me go to a new column to be used as a helper column because here is where I want to input the command that's going to help me to create uh, those folders automatically. Let's start with the equal sign. Equal sign and then code MD uncode. Simple as that. MD stands for make directory or create a folder. Let me press enter and as we can see, we're going to have MD as result. But now it's time to append the name of my folder with this MD command. And to do it, I can double click again within this formula. And immediately before the close quotations, I can input a space just to separate the MD command from the name of my folder. Now let's go immediately after the close quotations and use a percent, percent, And then I can select the name of my folder. Simple as that. Hit enter and click in the cell at the bottom right corner. Hold, drag down like this because the way we can make sure we can copy this formula down and we're done. All the rows now contain the same command. I can copy everything that I did here, select and then control C to copy or right click and then copy. Now it's time to open the notepad because the notepad is where we're going to paste all the formulas that we did. So let me go here and press Ctrl B or right click and then paste to paste everything. Now it's time to click on File and then Save S. With this new window, you're going to go here to the footer. And as the file name is very important to use any name that you like to use here, main folders and then dot .bat. BAT dot BAT is very important because a batch file is a executable file. And this is what we need. And Save S. I also want to change to all files and then click save. Now let me close this notepad. Now it's time to go to the directory where we save it, the notepad. And then here in the directory, we can execute the batch file. So let me double click here in the notepad that we created before. One, two. And as we can see, all the folders that we need are here. So this is how we can create multiple folders at once. However, we have the main folders, but within each one of those main folders, I want to add a subfolder like we saw before. So how can I do it? Let me go back to the Excel file and now it's time for each one of the names that I have in the list. I need to add three new folders or subfolders to the main folder. And again, we can automate this task using the lists in Excel. So as I have 
three different folders. Let me select everything that I have in my list and then Ctrl C to go. I go to the last row that I have or the first blank row and then Ctrl V to paste. Let me do it one more time. Now I have three times the same list. Now I can go here to the subfolders that I have. Let me take this second quarter, Ctrl C to go, and then go here to where the second list starts, Ctrl V, bring this down to here, and go again to the subfolder list, Ctrl C in the last one, and paste the last one for the last list. Now I can go here again. The first folder is going to be a subfolder for all the first uh, list that I have. Okay, so basically those are all the subfolders that we're going to have. And to transform into a subfolder, we're going to need to use a different command. Let's start with equal sign code cd space uncode. And then it's time to input here the directory where all the main folders are at. So let me hit enter here just to save this first part. And let me go back to the files. Now I can go here to the header and click in this bar because the way I can take the directory as we can see. So select everything and then right click, cope. Now we can go back to the Excel and again, double click in the first formula, one, two, upper sand, hold, control V to paste, everything that we did cope before. Now I'm gonna use a slash, but it's not a forward slash like this one that you can see. Uh, it's the backward slash like this one here, okay, backward slash. And now let me close quotations and hit enter. So this is what it's gonna look like. Now it's time to take the first main folder and append to the directory. And to do it, double click one, two, let me use here the upper sand and select the first cell like this. And let me hit enter. Now, as we can see, the directory is complete because within this directory and within this main folder, I'm going to have a subfolder. And to create the subfolder, I'm going to need to use, again, the MD command. So, one, two, and then upper stand, open quotations, space, use a upper stand, again, space, MD, space, close quotations, and then hit enter. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. A upper stand with the MD. Now again, double click. It's time to append the subfolder name. So upper send and then select the cell like this. Hit enter. Okay. Let me bring this formula down and we done. Okay. Here we have all the results or all the formulas for all the subfolders. Let me select everything. And again, we're going to do the same process. Control C to cope, open the notepad. And within the notepad, you're going to paste everything. And then you're going to click on file, save as, and as the name, maybe I can input subfolders.bat. And as it's a BAT, uh, a executable file, I also need to change save as type to all files. And then click save. Let me close this notepad and open out the directory where we save it, uh, notepad. So as we can see here, now we have the subfolders. Let me double click in this executable file and see what's going to happen. One, two, and... I don't know. Let's see if it's worth it. So let me click in any folder. One, two. Okay, it worked it. So as we can see, I have a main folder with now subfolders. And remember, if you want to create more main folders, you can easily do it using the Excel to help you to create this list. And if you also want to create more subfolders, you can also easily do it using Excel again to help you with the lists. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how can we create multiple folders and subfolders within the main folders using Excel and the Notepad. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.